itching to get on out. Uh, we uh, just did a little intermission on the uh, Prism Cello, which those are all day. That's an all day. There's so many chip shots out of that stuff. So take advantage of that whenever you guys see it this week. For sure. Uh, he goes, first, he has a PSA question. Luca Goldwave got seven on surface, but all oh, because of that that line on that Luca, wasn't it? Yeah. See, Mo, that's a good question too. And so, uh, on that uh, on that Goldwave Luca, there was a just a line where like the um, whatever you call it, uh, the foil for that Goldwave foil, the line went across. It was like the machine didn't do, and so they counted that really. I mean. That's a tough. That's a tough. That's a tough little little grade there because of that one line. And it's. I mean, that's a manufacturer. That's not like it was sitting in the couch or anything like that. So, um, but anyway, it might be. It might be worth just reaching out to to customer service and just asking. You know. So, uh, but I, I definitely would. Yeah. So. Uh, here's an Optic Hobby three box break number three. All the cards will ship out there. RPGO up at the top. Brian fifty one. Maddie. Maddie. S Bar is having a decent night here. There's Pels 32. We have had some KC stuff rolling around here. We had that that Mahomes uh, downtown silver guy too. Yeah, still a banger. Still a banger. Yes. All right. So we got three of these. Good to have you guys on board. Big news. We got the uh, well. Like I said, I'm sure you guys have heard it too. But if you're just not swinging in, the UBB Lounge is. This was day one. Got the keys. Got the keys to it. So I'm geared. Geared up. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be a little two to kick things off. It's not. It's Devontae Parker, 225 and a 299. Clyde Edwards over to KC and Pels. And Sterling Shepard, Yator Gross. They're called refractor lines. It's where the edge of this, uh, wait substrate line up to create chrome wave effect oh man that sounds intense all right here's a nice jalen hurts here you go 35 out of 179 over to philly maddie g there it is and take that joey b psa isn't nearly as hard on the grade as psa wait as they understand that it's the technology and not a manufacturer flaw. Oh, it's the technology. See? Look at just a wealth of knowledge over there. Okay, well, see, that's good to know that that is actually refractor lines. Here's Anthony McFarland, silver guy. Look at that. I mean, you guys are getting a little, a did you know up in here. I like it a whole bunch. So I think that Joey B base is gonna be all right for Cincy and Brownie 51. Shake and bake. Ben Dunici. I've seen way too much Ben Dunici tonight. Yeah, I'm a face, Ben. Regrade it with PSA. Looky there. A little, uh, there you go. I like it. So basically BGS is like, oh, I don't know what this is. Looks like this card was sitting in a bowl of Cheetos for a couple days. Grade it rough. Yeah, you have to go. <laughs> yep, you have to go to PSA. There's two glove Teddy over Carolina. Jason Huntley Rook. AJ Terrell. Oh boy, we'll get to it eventually after all nine of these. All right, then you got Von Miller. And that'll be a bronze guy at 199. CD Lamb Rook. And. Ah, uh, I listen. If you're going to get a LaMichael P. Ryan, it might as well be the gold version over to those Jets. Who's got those Jets? That's going to be first T. No lines in that one, brother. LaMichael P. Ryan, little gold guy, 6 out of 10. I wish it was a lot of other people other than Michael P. Ryan, but listen, if you got the Jets, it's okay. Ben Denici is the best future Hall of Famer, question mark. 
it cracked me up. I saw a couple Andy Luck uh, titles that just, it blew my mind, and I loved it. Here's a nice Colin Johnson going over to Jacksonville. And Sully, 2-4. That's 47 out of 50. Nice little hit there. I like that. Uh, but yeah, like somebody put in a Hall of Fame in their Andy, Andy Luck title. And I just, I, I almost bought it because it was that funny. It was that funny. 21 out of 99. Cortland Sutton. Last pack in this one, but at least we saw some gold stuff. Justin Jefferson and a Kristen Fulton. All right, box number two. So we're in the three box number three. We still got two Prism uh, Cello basketballs over there. The 1819. Literally, no one has those. I'm rocking them out for you guys. <laughs> box burger. I love it. He goes, no question mark needed. Already guaranteed. Ben Dunici. Hall of Fame. Yellow jacket. Green jacket. Who gives it? Anyway, so... Here's Damon Arnett. But I like your style and you're doing it the right way. You're being honest on eBay. Ben Dunici is a future guaranteed Hall of Famer. No question mark. Here's Jalen Hurts, hollow guy. Over to Philly, Matty G. <laughs> Papa goes, I like Boxburger. It was Ross Blacklock. And I uh, mean, had a 179 over to the Texans. Houston Hunter. And then uh, Friday Night Lights on a Wednesday. And I like it. Oh, hey, listen. If you're going to get the Texans and you're going to get a Will Fuller, it might as well be the gold. Dude, how gorgeous are these gold vinyls? Look at that. Hunter. Oh, Wednesday night lights down there. Getting that one-on-one -on -one love. Will Fuller. Now listen, if there's any indication... All right, so if we're going on the Josh Gordon scale, Will Fuller basically did nothing wrong, okay? If we're going on the Josh Gordon... Like, what is Josh... Why does he get so many opportunities? I don't get it. Will Fuller just took some beaver tranquilizers trying to get a little extra get up. In his step. Josh Gordon smoking weed on the field. There's a big difference. Big discrepancy between the two. All right? Let Will Fuller play. <laughs> Let him play. Like I said, that's any indication. Will Fuller will be in pre... He's already in the preseason. Like, he's in training camp. He's studying playbook. He's doing whatever feels right right now. And I like his, too. How about Michael Pittman, Jr., blue on blue, getting Indy up in it. And cool breeze. There you go, buddy. 67 out of 75. I like that Pittman. That guy's an animal. So good. Imagine if you actually had a quarterback that wasn't 700 years old and threw a sidearm, sidearm dinosaur pass every single time. And I'll take a Jordan Love and a Tua Bean. Watson, Jets, rebuild, question mark. Now, that is an appropriate appropriate use of the question mark, but I'm going to take that Jordan Love, and I'm going to take it to a bean down there. Just throwing bangers out left and right. Jeez, dude. And I don't know why two has softened up so much. <laughs> Dinosaur River. I'm just saying. He did, I mean, he stepped in and did what he had to do this year, but oh my God, it was painful to watch. I thought for sure he was going to get hurt this year, but that just shows you how good the offensive line is of, uh, of the Colts. And I just wish to God the Colts had that offensive line when Andrew Luck was there, because he'd still be there and be on Super Bowl ring number five, just creeping up on Brady. Getting it all in his biscuits. Here's Ashton, Ashton Davis, rookie silver. Yeah, Tua did soften up big time. This little Brady guy. Darrington Evans, Tennessee, 192 out of 299. Jonathan Taylor, Thomas. We still got one box after this, but he's throwing chip shots left and right here out of the optic stuff. Yeah, 
got Jameson Crowder, hollow guy. <laughs> His teammates don't even like him. Here's Lev Bell. One two ninety nine. Lev Bell, whenever they go to create the Lev Bell cards, they're like, hey, which uniform are we using for Lev Bell this time? Nobody knows. I mean, it's, yeah. Anyway, last pack in that box, but bangers galore. He's got too many dinosaur babies. If he doesn't right. Phil Rivers have like seven kids. Golly. Way too many. See, Niners fan, yeah, he said, calling a love auto next box. Okay, yeah. Well, dude, S. Bars, you're done killing it already. I mean, it's not a nice little Jordan Love out of the, the, the bronze guy, but it's it's always tough to, to be very critical of the rookies right out of the rip. I mean, we haven't seen a – when's the last time? There's a nice little Mahomes, the T-minus. Those are actually tough to get, so I like that. Um, it's tough to be – Critical. They're usually thrown in a, a weird position. Is a Ross Blacklock and just continuing. Hunters. Tear there. 87 out of 99. Justin Jefferson there. Uh, over to Minnesota, which is Steel Nation. But uh, they're always thrown in like a weird dynamic. There's some weird vet quarterback over there, most likely Kirk Cousins or Alex Smith. All right. He's on whatever team you pick at that point in time. All right, no matter what. Or like, <laughs> name another weirdo, like a Kellen Moore, okay? So, and it's, it's always like a toss-up. And it, like the team is always in a weird transition where you got Fitzpatrick's big-ass beard running around the field, wearing, looking like Conor McGregor and just in his interviews. And then you got the rookie that's like, man, I got to be quiet. Like, I just got to keep my head down. And then they just throw him into the mix like four weeks in. And everybody's calling for the GM's head. And it's just such a weird dynamic, man. There's no more patience anymore with quarterbacks. So, especially rookie quarterbacks. So, Darnell Mooney, 46 out of 50. Going over those Bears. Larry Fitz and a Brian Edwards. <laughs> Fitz magic. Tua didn't look comfortable. I still think his uh, hip was bothering him. Like I said, it was it was just a weird, it was a weird, <laughs> a weird dynamic this year. Here's Miles Sanders. And it's Tommy Stevens going down to JK98. Little silver rookie guy. You don't count him out. You just don't know. Then you got Carry on Johnson over to Detroit. 179. So we're in the three box number three. We're going to keep rocking on these. Uh, we got two more rounds. Yeah, for tonight. There's Jake Fromm. And like I said, the H2, the uh, the uh, the hybrid is actually a little bit less expensive, but then it's a more condensed with just a lot of different color parallels. Uh, I got that coming in tomorrow. So maybe we'll take a box of the hobby and then take some of the... Uh, the H2 stuff, roll it together, see what we can come up with. Here's Xavier McKinney at 179. Because I feel like over the next couple weeks, there's not going to be that much coming out uh, on the basketball side. So that's why I want to try and take advantage of uh, being able to get some of this uh, older stuff at a decent price here for us. So, all right, here's James Morgan over to the Jets, Silver Guy. Guy, the AA Ron Green guy. S. Barris, you're hitting the weirdest stuff tonight, man. 14 out of 35. AA Ron going to the Colts. Super Bowl champ question mark. Yes. I like that card though. Weirdo green. In case football this year looks nice, yeah. I mean, it's just wild. Like all the football stuff just it's getting Weird basketball pricing, which weirds me out. So, Cesar Ruiz there to end off that one. But chip shots galore out of number three. 
Oh, I like it. So if you don't have anything at the end of that, as always, I'll get you guys squared away too. But uh, all the cards will go out there for you. Okay. That is number three. All right, let me get that one.